Y'all know I love a really good story, and today we are working with a piece of wood that if it could talk, would tell a world of stories. I have a slab of cedar from the property of Roanoke, located in Oxford, Mississippi, which is the home of Nobel Prize winner, Pulitzer Prize winner, Poet Laureate, William Faulkner. I have been saving this piece, waiting for a project that was worthy of the provenance that this piece of wood carries. And today I have that project. I have another writer coming to town, another Mississippi son, my good friend Wright Thompson. His name is Wright. I mean, you can't get any more right than that. Wright Thompson is a senior writer for ESPN. You've read his stories on Michael Jordan, Tiger Woods, Lionel Messi. He's written for ESPN's 30 for 30 series, and his books, The Cost of These Dreams and Pappy Land, became New York Times bestsellers. And I cry in almost all of his stories. It's really good writing. We are building a writing desk from Faulkner Cedar. And then we're gonna donate it to the creative writing department up at Ole Miss, my alma mater. Just think of the stories this piece of furniture could tell. Think of the stories that it will tell. Think of the stories that will be written at this desk for years to come. Brother! <laughs> What's up, man? WWT. Oh, this push. is my workout. CrossFit. Yeah. Come on, man. So good to see you. How are you? Man, I'm doing very good. How are the girls? The girls are great. When I was leaving today, I'm like, Daddy's gonna try not to cut his hand off. There you go. So have you never done any kind of woodworking? I've never built a single thing in my life. But you're, I mean, you're from a Delta farming family. That doesn't mean I know anything about tools. I'm very excited to do this because one, to hang out with an old friend, but two, like I wanna learn some stuff. We're going to. I'm gonna teach you some stuff. It's gonna be cool. All right, what are we doing? We are going to build a writing desk. Okay. So here's what I'm thinking. If you were looking down at the top of this desk, you'd have four squares. So for our legs, we are gonna use pencil post table legs because this is what I use to write with. We will have skirts on four sides of the table, but then around the bottom, we will have stretchers that are only on three sides so that you can sit at the desk without hitting your feet on anything. And then for the top, we will have a tenon that will go into our cedar. We will take a wedge that we will drive in from the top and it causes that split to open up, which then tightens onto the cedar top. Are you excited about the cedar? I'm so pumped. I can't believe this is real. You and I have been talking about this piece yes. of wood for a long time. Let's go look at it. All right, well, I gotta okay. go see this. Wow. Do you hear the heavenly choir? This piece of wood has some very high stakes. A friend of mine called me. He was contracted by the university to take down all the trees that have to come down on campus. He said, I've gotten a slab of cedar. And I said, yeah, bring them. Just the fact that it came from William Faulkner's yard, I was like stunned. I'm a big believer that wood carries the life force in it. You know, I have knives made from the barn on the farm where my dad grew up. What is it about Southerners and our sentimentality to, I mean, everything? I mean, it's the thing that I think Faulkner wrote about most, which is the idea that there is this past that is slipping through your hands very quickly. If you drive around here, the nostalgia is thick. So much of the ideas behind his work lives in the fact that we are taking something old and dead and making it new and alive. Where do you write? I have a table made out of wood from an old uh, house that collapsed in Clarksdale, where I'm from. And it's beautiful and it's cypress. You know, I think that even when we leave where we're from, you want to carry pieces of it with you. We're going to donate this back to the university. And so there is like this sense of a circle there where hopefully this will introduce someone else to Faulkner. One of the things I remember from being in college and trying to learn how to write is how hard it is to believe in yourself. And so any sort of knowledge that it has been done from here, therefore I can do it, I find to be really powerful. 
So the biggest problem with this piece of wood yeah. is that it is the only piece that I have. No. So don't mess it up. So, so what's they say? You know, measure once, cut twice? We say measure once, cuss twice. Well, I, can, I got the cussing down. If we mess this up, though, we're gonna be doing a lot more than cussing twice. We also, oh, for the base, we're gonna use oak from campus. All right, I yeah. love it, old Miss Oak.